Okay, so real talk. What do you guys think of my hair? Like, it was supposed to be a wash and go. I watched this tutorial. I have two coats of paint on right now and I want the last coat, stop it. Um, and I want the last coat to go on with one of the roller brushes just so that there's no line marks because right now you can still sort of see that it looks a little bit streaky. Like it doesn't move as much as it did a few minutes ago. Like a few minutes ago it moved. <laughs> And now it just doesn't move. It's Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine! Look what has arrived! Okay, so I'm taking a break. I've got a coat already on the inside of the cabinets. I have the pantry coat done, so all of those are still gonna need another coat. Um, white paint is like strange to work with, <laughs> but um, so I'm gonna do that. I'm trying to figure out like how do I paint in my hair? I, this always happens to me. I got paint on my clothes, so. Um, yeah, the kitchen is a complete disaster because I was taking everything out of the pantry and so now I'm just like, oh my gosh, but I'm tired. I'm kind of over it <laughs> at the moment. Um, these projects, they take time, so it is what it is. I don't know why every time I start something I have this tendency to think that like, oh, I'm going to knock this out real quick. It never works like that, but um, that's how that goes. So it's flex day, all the kids are home, it's two o'clock. I'm getting ready to put Penelope and Preston down for their nap. It's kind of late for them for a nap, but they have not had one. They've been having Valentine's candy and they've already eaten lunch. And I just need it to be quiet for five minutes. I'm gonna put them down for a nap and then I'm going to I'm not really sure. I'm at a standstill. Hubs went to pick up the shelf liners that I need for the shelves. I don't want to put anything back in the cabinets and have to take it back out again. So I might be waiting until he gets back with the shelf liner and who knows when that's going to be. So Maya's hey. here. <laughs> I am here. Here. Happy oh. Valentine's Day. Oh, that was nice of you. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Can I get one of these? I thought that was food. Yeah, even though she has her own. So yeah, the kids have the house in a complete uproar. Um, kind of because I've been in the kitchen painting, they've been like running amok and for a while, for a while I was here by myself. So they knew I was doing something. So like my eyes were between several different things, which, you know, moms and multitasking, we know how that goes. Stop that. Clean with me. We'll make your house clean in like five minutes. You're gonna make your house clean in five minutes. I'll make my living room clean in five minutes. We're talking about house. <laughs> <laughs>
who's excited like it feels like Christmas I love getting packages in the mail because all I get is bills so when I get packages I get super excited so I think that this uh, microfiber all-purpose cloth was my free gift or one of them I love this lavender scented Mrs. Myers so much. So I got a glass cleaner because y'all know I got a ton of windows. And then I got this multi-surface everyday in the mint scent. And I'm actually really excited to smell this. So let's see what it smells like. That is heavenly. drawing straight lines like even with something straight a straight edge in my life they're still crooked okay so I have the first set of lines up I swear I cannot make straight lines to save my life so I hope that this doesn't look bad because um, some of my lines are all over the place so far it kind of looks like shiplap I kind of like it like this Okay, so I've basically got all of my faux bricks drawn on. I've got some little mistakes on there, but I have to go in over this with masking tape anyways. So I guess I will get to that part. But so far you can see what it's going to look like and I think that's cool. Yeah. So this is the stuff that's going to make the bricks. This is joint compound and it basically just gives like a textured look on the wall. I hear it's pretty messy according to both girls that did this um, and it's kind of a pain in the ass so I guess I'm going to experience it for myself but I'm prepared. This stuff is kind of like putty when you open it. It's it's soft, and then I guess once it goes on, you have to let it dry. So that's where the messy part comes in when you're peeling off the tape, I guess. Let's see what it does. What it do? What it do? What it do? Okay, so I'm not sure how long it takes this stuff to dry, so I guess I'm gonna just start peeling. when doing this would be to make sure that you leave like I would do my tape more in pieces or I did my tape in really long strips and then I did I broke off the bricks in pieces so what I noticed is the long strips are coming off really nice and the pieces that I use to make the bricks are actually peeling right off with the other part so it's not as bad as it seems. It is messy on the fingers, um, and there may be a little bit of areas that probably need to be touched up, but I would recommend leaving excess on the outside if you can so that you can find your tape, because once you cover it up, it is kind of hard to find where the tape is at, but I had tape sticking out of the edges of mine, so it was kind of easy to pull. So I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit more tape on the edge part, because it got a little bit messed up. Alright, let's 
keep going. <laughs> that I need to touch up from where it got kind of messed up when the tape came off. I would, I would definitely recommend that you remove your plug covers. That's just me, always in a hurry to do a project. I didn't bother to take those down. Kind of messy, um, depending, on, depending on how you do this. It can be minimal to a lot of a mess, but I think it looks good. So there's way more steps to take than this, but so far, so good. This has to dry for a while. Okay, so I kind of have to be honest here. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this. I feel, I know it's not done, so everybody keeps telling me I'm being overboard and to let it be done before I start deciding because this isn't the final look, but like right now I really feel like it looks weird. I feel like my kitchen looks like a little cottage kitchen. <laughs> I don't know, anyways. Um, but I'll show you guys how the brick turned out so far. It probably needs to dry overnight, so I'm not gonna be able to go back in and paint or do anything like that until tomorrow. So there it goes. And so you can see where it's textured, and I kinda left mine sort of like thick. I probably could've smoothed that out some more, but I actually liked how it looked being really textured. for now and then I guess this will change some more. All right, so I'm gonna get ready to go in and paint in here to fill in my grout to make that white. Uh putting the rest of my paper down on my countertops. I was trying to contemplate if I wanted to wait until in the morning to do it or to do it right now, but I think I'm too excited. So I just want to do it right now. Down. Love lost. Down. All of us. Give me a run for my money. There is nobody, no one to help run me. 